I grew up in the Hudson Valley. It's my home. I grew up on the Wappinger Creek, splashing around in the same creeks that, that we're testing now to see if they're safe. And I have a son who is doing that splashing now. So it's a very direct connection when I think about improving water quality for all of us to enjoy in that way. Testing the water quality and engaging the public in that testing is really core to what Riverkeeper does because it, it connects people directly to water they care about, it gives us information that we can use for advocacy, and then of course it, it gets people engaged and helps them develop as advocates and developing those communities and working with them is really important to everything that we want to achieve. What we're discovering and what we see in people is that they're really looking for any sort of chance they can get to go out there and make some sort of a difference for the natural world and to take care of each other and to take care of the planet. We're able to give them that entry point. And what we're able to do is then translate that into helping us with data collection, helping us with developing a scientific understanding of the river. And all in all, that was able to translate into us being better able to protect the river and kind of do our jobs in that way. It's one of the great assets of the program that you can't measure. It's sort of intangible, but it's that connection that makes people speak up for the, for the stream or speak up when there's an issue or a threat. It's so critical and important. You know, it's an act of care. And like, it's caring for the river, it's caring for the organization, it's caring for each other. And we are working towards something that's kind of idealistic, right? Like you're fighting for a living river. And that's the work that I think is really fulfilling for all of us right now at Riverkeeper, is looking into those questions and how we can better take care of each other. We're thinking about how to create shorter term projects that are rooted in civic engagement and that really use data collection by communities for specific civic advocacy objectives. Trying to really broaden our reach, reach out to new communities, new groups, new people, and to start talking about a little bit of a wider range of issues. It starts with a simple thing, someone dipping a bottle in the water, but what grows from there is a building of a community. People come together around a, a particular waterway and around their neighbors, and that gives them the structure to solve any problem. And that's really what we're trying to do, is give people the capacity and help them solve problems around water. This is us, this is our health, and it matters to me, it matters to my neighbors, my family. Everything that we do is to support our own health and our own longevity on this earth and our, our harmonious relationship with this incredible water body and, and all of the life that, that it sustains.